Hi, so let's write our first hello world and then let's have uh, another view of the primitives available in Go. So we want to print the hello world uh, on the console. So for that, we're going to use the FNT library. So if you write FMT, you can see that uh, my ID imported uh, the library FMT um, online free. So if you don't have, if you don't use GoLand, uh, you're going to have to import it manually by writing import FMT. And then we just want to use the, the method um, print. So you just do dot print and then open round parentheses and it's taking a string. And then um, we just write hello world and then um, clicking on run application. If you don't use the same ID as me, open a terminal and then type uh, go run main dot go, which is your the file that we are um, writing our script in. So then you can see on the uh, panel on the right that we have our hello world. Instead of using dot print, we can use print line. So print line is just inserting blanks between the few values and then appending with a, a blank line. So you can see the, the blank line after hello world. And now with two uh, strings, hello and word, you can see that it has had it uh, blank between hello world. Another function available is print uh, f, which stands for print formatting. So basically you can use verb. So a verb is like uh, this little tag that you can see percentage s and then you can send uh, multiple arguments. So basically what it means is uh, a verb percentage s is a placeholder for a string, percentage d is a placeholder for um, a number and so on and so on. So you can build your string piece by piece like that. So I invite you to have a look to the FMT package. Uh, and then another package that we could use is the log package. And it has the same functions as the FMT package. The only benefit that you have, you have a timestamp for free, basically. But you have print and print line and print F available, same as FMT. So uh, let's have a look to the, the primitives available in Go. So we've already seen uh, the string. So just um, a string like that, which is in double quote. And then uh, the second type I want to show you is the integer. So one to three as integer. And then um, the floating point number uh, with decimal point. On those uh, integer and floating point uh, numbers, you can have uh, math operations. So you have addition, uh, one plus two, three. Uh, you can have division. So integer division is uh, one by two is zero, but with a float, uh, 0.5. You can have a modulo, 12 modulo two, zero. Um, and if you need more complicated stuff, you can use the package math. So you just do math dot and you can have, for instance, uh, the absolute value of minus six. So six, uh, there's a lot, a lot of methods available there. Um, I invite you to just have a look if you need any of them. And the last primitive I want to show you is the booleans. So uh, for instance, true, true is a boolean and you can have false as well. So boolean supports a logical operator like or, so true or false, it's true, or true and false, the operator ampersand ampersand, so false. You can also negate any Boolean statement. So you can negate a true, which is going to be um, false. I hope you enjoyed that quick intro around printing stuff in the console and hope you enjoyed the, this quick overview of the primitives available in Go. 
So obviously I didn't deep dive. Uh, I really, really invite you to read the, the docs around uh, the different packages I mentioned. Uh, they are all building packages, so the, it, it's going to be the Go official documentation, which is really good. Thanks for watching and happy coding.